Okay, so this next method of burning textures is really easy. Uh, it is a little tedious at times. It might take up two five-minute videos. I broke my rules. Oh, well. Uh, now what we're going to do is lower it all the way down like that. And make sure you have AUV tiles just like before. Okay. We're going to assign the texture to it. So let's back it back up and take it and give it something cool like this antique bronze. Uh, go to MRGB and color fill object just like that. Okay, now in this next method, uh, it's really nice because everything, I mean everything, even the shine and everything, goes into the object. Okay, so ready? All right, Z app link, remember that. Okay, so what I need to do is store by holding shift, let's do a front. Okay, okay, let's go to a side. Okay, this is my left side. Doesn't really matter because it stores both. Uh, let's go to a top. And it must fit on the screen. Okay, so notice that. Top. And for my custom, let's uh, set it to like something like underneath the chin, which it always has a hard time with. And always has a hard time behind the ears for some reason too. So Okay, good. All right, so that's all set. Now what we can do is go to Z app link. And if you have Photoshop, you're in good shape. Let's hit okay. Okay, so the next method, I would put down your Wacon tablet. You don't need it anymore. And uh, let's say we have to do a little finagling. Okay, so right now, what you do is duplicate the top layer. Hit OK. Okay, move it down. This is the duplicate. Okay, layer, merge down. Okay, notice it changed. Okay, so we have to do that for each one. Say, duplicate layer, okay. Move it down. Layer, merge down. So I'm gonna take a minute and do this. Okay, so once you get done, just make sure they're all labeled right. There should be no duplicates. Okay. This should all be Custom one, custom two, front, front, top, left, whatnot. I find going save as works a lot better and save it as temp z app link export. And hit yes. And hit OK. Now it never works on the first try for some reason, so Okay, now I'm going to just say return to external editor. I'm going to save it one more time. And go back to ZBrush. Voila, it worked. So re enter ZBrush. And you have to accept each one. Now, I would take fade off and hit accept. Okay, there we go. Now, if you had fade on, it might work a little bit better too. Um, what I, I tend to do is go back to it, like document Z app link, hit OK. Hit cancel, file, save as, yes, okay, go back to ZBrush, return to external editor, file, save as, Z app link, okay, yes, re-enter ZBrush, and this time hit fade. The two combinations of the fade and not fade actually produce a really nice map. Okay, so there we go. Uh, what I could do now is go to Fast Shader 5. I can go Material, Color, Fill Object. And you can see what I have. I have that burned in material right into the object. Uh, things that you see spots on, 
basically, you know, all you do is have to make sure you have a higher polygon count and those anomalies will not show up. All right, so that's it. Burning uh, material and everything right into the object.